پیام لورد کارلایل عضو برجسته مجلس اعیان انگلستان تا کنون 102 نماینده شامل 22 وزیر پیشین از قطنامه پارلمانی برای تأمین حفاظت لیبرتی حمایت کردند فراخان به شرکت در گرده همایی بزرگ مقاومت ایران در شش تیر 27 جوان در ویلپند I want to tell you two really important things today. The first is about a wonderful motion that has been tabled in the House of Commons of the British Parliament. A motion trying to persuade the United Nations Security Council to secure the safety of the residents of Camp Liberty has now been supported by no less than 102 members of the House of Commons. They come from all the political parties in the United Kingdom and among the signatories are about 20 people who have been ministers in the British government. This is an important development from which everybody should take great courage and read enormous support for the residents of Camp Ashraf. You must be assured that politicians in the House of Commons and indeed in the House of Lords in London are fully behind the campaign for the residents of Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty and fully behind the campaign to help those residents to have a much more secure future whether it is temporarily in Iraq or permanently elsewhere in the world. The other thing I want to say is how important the meeting is in Paris on the 27th of June of this year. 150 members of the British um, Parliamentary Committee which supports Iran freedom are involved in the preparation of this meeting. What a huge display of support there is for those who wish to see a better government in Iran. Our aim is a very simple one. It's difficult at the moment, but I'm sure it can be achieved. Our aim is to return Iran to the sort of government which would mean that that great country would be welcomed back into the family of nations rather than being, see, being seen as a rogue or villain, uh, which is an enemy in the community of nations. We believe that will be achieved. We think, however, that it is absolutely essential that sh people should unite together, put aside minor political differences, and work together, ensure that they have a clear vision what the future secular Iran will be, an Iran where there is equality of opportunity for men and women, boys and girls, human rights which can be recognized as conforming to international standards. The purpose of supporting Madame Rajavi in Paris on the 27th of June is to make it clear to the wider world and particularly to the governments of the Western world that there is a citizens movement for Iran that is supported by the politicians and citizens of Western Europe. I and my colleagues in the British Parliament are proud to be part of that campaign.